There are a number of clinical trials that they can look out for. Lower risk patients can look out for clinical trials involving loose powder sept and combinations. Um, the um, loose powder sept compared to ESAs as first line. Um, uh, the HIF-1 alpha inhibitors, the Imitelstat clinical trials, all of those look very promising in lower risk MDS. So, you know, uh, patients that are transfusion dependent should try to seek participation in those trials. Um, in the higher risk patients, the, the ones that look most promising to me are the combination clinical trials of hypomethylating agents with either venetoclax or in the rare cases where the the MDS patient has an IDH1 or IDH2 mutation, something less actionable, the combinations of hypomethylating agent with the IDH1 inhibitor or the IDH2 inhibitor were appropriate. And the oral hypomethylating, uh, and not necessarily in the context of clinical trials, but the oral hypomethylating agent ASTEC 727 um, appears to have equivalent uh, activity to IV decytabine. Um, and uh, so patients who are are, are considering being put on uh, a hypomethylating agent where travel for injection hypomethylating agents not going to be feasible, that, that may be an option for them.